Artifacts. Hey, there we did. We got two hobby box. 23-24. Upper deck, Shardon box, Hawk. Featuring four cards per pack, eight packs per box. In any given box of artifacts, we should be expecting three hits, which could be autographed relic and or tech insert. Then again, on the box here, it says collect at least two hits per box. That tech insert will likely be an arm. One rookie redemption or clear cut acetate and four numbered base or base parallel. But before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by Total Sports Cards and Collectibles, which is a retail store for GP Sports Cards located in Toronto, Ontario, featuring a wide selection of sealed hockey boxes as well as other sports. Be sure to check out the new in stock artifact, check out the much anticipated pre order for Upper Deck Series 2. So be sure to email or call if you'd like to order those products. Also, with artifacts coming out today, this Friday, December 15th, GP has a ton of bricks available, featuring 10 box team select, hit select, and team random, and then 20 box master team select and team random. So that's all going down this Friday, December 15th. GP will be live all day today. So thank you, Total Sports cards for sponsoring today's video all this will be in the description and let's get into today's video all right artifacts got some more bedard product here 23 24 you guys know i'm not too huge on artifacts i'll just say this right now aggressively avoid retail at all costs it'll make you want to commit felonious activities so i'd just say completely avoid that but what does the hobby version of artifacts have well first off there is a 200 card base set and then there's 50 rookie redemptions on top of that so 250 total cards here's a parallel i really don't care for the parallels i never really have cared for the parallels they change up way too much like ruby and emerald are like the only constant there so the rest of them i don't really care for there's a couple of new ones polychrome that's number to 65 and party time to 10 that's not why we're opening this right there is yeah. some really nice content here obviously like the dual jersey slash dual patch autos are like one of the staples in here there's a lot of relics in here this is a relic heavy product there is some on card content here a lot of it's sticker though but that's not why we're opening this we're opening this because it's the 23 24 product that means there's kind of bedard content in here well first off not just kind of it's the 23 24 crop in redemption form unfortunately unless it's the carryover guys like in series one like luke hughes matthew nice guys like connor bedard will be in the rookie redemptions which the base rookie redemptions are one in 18 packs this is eight pack box if we don't get a redemption we're gonna get a clear cut in here we're looking for the blackhawks redemption obviously typically these are numbered to what 9.99 there's also the emerald version that is one in 130 packs so keep that in mind i already know i'm gonna miss a few things when discussing this but i'm doing the unthinkable here we'll have plenty of time to talk about this product but the roman numerals i presume Connor bernard will be one that'd be a massive troll job if he isn't roman numeral autographs which don't really appeal to me they are one in 1500 packs and then tier two is one six hundred and tier three is one of three hundred so tough pull there if you want to get a bedard i'm guessing leo carlson adam fantilli logan cooley will be some of the other tier ones but there's more than that for roman noodles there's a gold material which is one in 269 with an emerald parallel which is a patch which is a Connor bedard chicago blackhawks patch and there's a purple that's one two thousand and the black that's one twenty one thousand also the horizontal ones i really don't care for there is rookie auto horizontal though they're one in four thousand eight hundred packs so i don't anticipate getting those there's the retros that are one in 45 i don't care but that's probably number one but the biggest pull for bedard in here if he is in here would be the roman numeral rookies auto material gold redemption which would be an auto jersey but the emerald and lower will be auto patch but it's one in seven thousand packs purples are one in twenty one thousand black is you're not pulling it like everything with bedard i have to compare it to Connor mcdavid so here's what mcdavid's looks like several thousand dollar card i'm pretty sure so if you're paying more for bedard stuff than mcdavid crosby ovechkin and even matthews you're kind of delusional i understand the hype but just keep that in mind bedard's sick but if you're paying more than mcdavid prices better question yourself there and another cool bedard thing in here is a signature apparel he has an autograph in here. It's Team Canada, it's number 36. Patch Auto, dang. Might be on card. It's hard to tell there, but it has a live card in here, which is nice. Everything else, redemption. But yeah, let's check out Shard on my back. Before I continue on, these boxes cost $180 Canadian. So a bit up, justifiably so, though. These boxes aren't a good long term hold because of all those redemptions. So just keep that in mind. I know a lot of people are going to be buying 23, 24 product and sitting on it. This wouldn't be the product to do that. But yeah, let's get right into it. Artifacts. All right, artifacts. Again, avoid retail. It'll make you want to go out in the woods and commit atrocities. Definitely not a good option. So. So let's see what we have in the first pack here. So Rookie Redemption is a 118. Anything but our autographs is one in the thousands. So here's the base for artifacts. Got Marcia So. I guess I'll show us Zuccarello here. There's the back for artifacts. Pretty darn basic there. Five years of stats. No write-up. We got the 22, 23 stats, fortunately. So there's Zuccarello. Uh, then we got a Uri Slavkowski second year. Only four cards per pack. Eight packs per box. Oh, it's not a Rookie Redemption. We got a goalie. There we go. Levy Marilina. So the rookies you'll see in here are a lot of guys you'll see in MVP in Series 1. The carryover guys, that's 414, 999. So there is your basic rookie there not a parallel or anything so there's that okay it's more like a portrait shot there there's lucas reichel tanner Janot. so i guess the card's the third card you got a back base card Wierenski. A filler there so it's right here there you go ruby at least these have been a constant it's a roman yossi ruby 499 not a bad looking design this year i'm not gonna lie there's a yossi ruby next pack up here so should be at least two hits and probably an aurum or three hits we shall see but that's an autograph there auto facts probably seth jones barry might be a retro there which i think it is Ooh. 
Zach Hyman. Okay. Zach Hyman. I saw Oilers for a second there, but that's still pretty good. Zach Hyman. That's like a five or six auto facts there. Not a bad pull. Zach Hyman. Really good player there. So there you go. That being said, when I'm opening this. I don't really care about the redemptions, but this year, redemptions are everything. Redemptions is what's going to sell boxes for this stuff, but it looks like we got Orem here. Brady Kachuk. Hunt and Connor Bedard. Patrick Lining. Or any of the many tremendous rookies in this crop. Uh, Kale McCarr. Orem. So there's Orem. Yeah, and these are fill ins for hit. Just like the Spectrums and SBA. Just the UD bounty thing. You guys know my opinion on it. I'm not too huge. So it's largely gimmicky there. So there's that. Next pack up here. We got another thick card in here. Is this Jersey? Well, we got Jeff Skinner. So three cards in here. If you do get a thicker card, you'll probably get less base. But we have Owen Power. Dual jersey. Yeah, this year's design is not too bad. 132, 199 for Power there. Dual jersey. Again, they're making the swatches slightly smaller. Like, you can tell that. But game use piece for Power, which is nice. All of this stuff from 22, 23 is all, like, player worn. So, there's Owen Power. We got two boxes here. So, I'm hoping for a rookie redemption. But we got Bunting. Kyle Connor. Ooh, hey, okay. Here's that new party time parallel. 9 of 10. Kyle Connor, unfortunately, got injured. But there's Pionk and Stevenson behind him. New parallel to 10. Party time. They keep on switching up the parallels to the point where too hard to follow and i don't really want to collect them if i'm being honest there you go party time is barely any foil it's on the team logo and the numbering there it's like a rainbow foil so there you go party time kyle connor it's quite subdued it's not super flashy like a chromium set so there's that two more packs of the first box still need redemption or acetate card i'm hoping for that redemption kurashev mason mctavish then we got burakoski on the back we got a filler here so is this a redemption no it's another ruby there you go luke robitaille so there are some legends in the checklist there's lucky luke 427 499 okay and the file pack this should be a redemption or an acetate card. I'm hoping for not an acetate. It's an acetate card. Frick my bone. Uh, we got Brain Point. We got Faraby, Malkin. I think there's some update acetate cards here from years past, which... Yeah, there you go. John Luke Foodie. Who is a 22-23 rookie. So that's a 22-23 artifacts update. But it says 23-24 in the back. So there you go. John Luke Foodie. As Tate rookie there. So instead of guaranteeing redemptions, you get some of these, which is largely fine. So there you go. John Luke Foodie. Finish out the first box. Honestly, not a terrible box, even though it is $108. We did get some cards in there, but let's check out the second box here. And yes, I did get a 10 box inner of this. Did not commit to a master case of this. Just got a 10 box inner. So there will be a mini series on the channel. Or 23-24 artifacts. Let's see what we have here. What the heck? heck is that well is this our acetate card so we're getting no redemptions in this break what is that well to foley filler card there uh it's a parallel right it's coronado matt coronado so this is a plexi hopefully it's not the acetate card i really hope not but it's a non-numbered parallel there these are inner hits pretty much so like 180 packs matt coronado who struggled a bit this year but sent down called up sent back down so there's that i'm hoping to get a rookie redemption because there's so many good rookies to get in here but there's dobson there's kopitar vetrano and we yeah, Nick Lidstrom, All-Star. That's interesting. So this is like a base legend there. That's 95 of 599 for Nick Lidstrom. Okay. Next pack of Chardon backs. We got Eric Carlson. Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a Ruby. Okay, well, Mario Ferraro, Brent Burns, and Tanner Geno. Ruby, 480, 499. Okay. Next pack up here. We have a thick current here, and that back's a little fricked up there on Barzell. But there's Nylander. We got Barzell. So is this a teal color or something? Emerald? Uh, goalie? Uh, it's Lukanen. Dual jersey there to 199 k artifacts dual jersey 111 of 199 for lukanen been the best goal in buffalo this year so game is peace for lukanen k okay second half of the box Jeez, what is that <laughs> Sonny bolano there's matt duchene filler card here we got seth jarvis and do we have a redemption no it's another rookie henry thrun and it's a pink to 35 even though it looks kind of purpley there but it's a pink parallel 26 to 35 for thrun there you go a little numbered parallel of a rookie there k so no autograph in this box to this point or rookie redemption you got to bring it not guaranteed autos in here horvat everly a filler card there and brock nelson there I'm guessing that's just like a stars there to 599 so there you go there's brock nelson kate all right two more packs of artifacts come on redemption that might be redemption so schmaltz dalene uh ooh, yeah okay so i'm gonna save that i'm gonna be slightly hostile uh <laughs> okay, well, uh, I guess we'll do the Rookie Redemption because we got like a patch card and a Rookie Redemption. So let's see here. Blackhawks. Oh, Ranger. Okay, Rangers. New York Rangers. Okay, there you go. New York Rangers. Rookie Redemption. Well, looking at the rookie list here, it doesn't look like Will Cooley's on there. So it's probably Will Cooley, even though Cooley's a carryover. He's not one of the 30 rookies there. So it's probably Will Cooley because I just checked. I don't think there's any other rookie that debuted for the Rangers this year. So there's a rookie redemption for the Rangers. And we'll finish off artifacts here with a thick card here. Could be nice. Uh, looks like it's a dual patch perhaps sod <laughs> get out of here i'm guessing it's just right here yeah oh, oh no that's a base card oh geez there you go jacob markstrom and then it's here Ooh, got a purple got a purple it is tomas hurdle five of ten 
Ooh, it's autograph. Ooh, nice. There we go. Okay. Artifacts good this year, question mark? We got a purple dual patch. Five of ten. That is sick. Of Tomas Hurdle. I hope he gets out of San Jose because it's going to be rough several years for him if he stays there. But there's a Tomas Hurdle. It's already been a rough couple years, but he's a good player. That's a really nice card there. So, hey, artifacts good, question mark? Maybe. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, guys. 23, 24 artifacts. Not too bad there. Don't really care for the parallel still. But we got this Merrill Line in the 999. Got the Nelson. Only one Rick Redemption. The New York Rangers. Probably Will Cooley. The Henry Thrun Pink, the 35. You got UPL, the Artifacts Dual Jersey, 199. You got the Janot Ruby, Nick Liston, 599. You got a Plexi of Matt Coronado. You got an Acetate Rookie from 2223, question mark, of John Luke Foody. You got a Ruby Luke Robitaille. You got a Party Time of 10 of Kyle Connor, Owen Power Dual Jersey, the 199. You got Kale McCarr Orem, Zach Hyman Auto, Yossi Ruby. And dang, finish off. Nice dual patch auto of Tomas Hurdle. So honestly, I'm happy with that. So there's that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for inner case of this stuff. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.